How's it going everybody, Jordan here, and in today's video, I'm going to go over the best legendary swords in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Swords can be a great weapon type to quickly dispatch units with its high attack speed and combos. As always, if you enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed Odyssey content. Let's get right into it. Swords are one of the most supported weapon types in the game, with plenty of great legendary options to use for any type type of build. I'm going to showcase what I believe are the best swords for each playstyle, warrior, hunter, and assassin. The one thing about the sword in comparison to the other weapon types is it's got the second highest attack speed and packs a bit of a punch when it comes to armor penetration. This is perfect for players who like the ability to maneuver quickly in a fight, which is very useful for more glass type builds like hunters and assassins who enjoy a good fight every so often. Beyond attack speed and armor penetration, the sword comes with some great combos to let you deal with any enemy type. For shield enemies, you want to use the dodge plus heavy attack combo to knock their shield back and allow you to get in quickly and kill them before they bring their shield up again. Another fun and good combo for the sword, especially for targeting a single enemy, is the dodge plus light attack. Using these combos with the combined attack speed, you can maneuver and dispatch a lot of different enemies very quickly with the sword. Alright, let's go over the legendary swords now. The first is the Prometheus's Sika for warrior playstyles. The Prometheus Sika is acquired by killing a mercenary randomly generated in your default game with the nickname of the Spark. As a reminder, these three swords I'm going to feature are available without any DLC. The primary perk is warrior damage, the secondary is fire damage, and its legendary perk is 15% fire damage and build up. This legendary sword is perfect for a warrior looking to hit some hard fire damage. The dual fire damage with this particular sword with the fire damage perk plus the legendary perk makes this the perfect fire sword in the entire game. You'll want to match this sword with a build with high fire damage, armor penetration, and high crit damage to make sure you melt your enemies down very quickly. This is probably one of the hardest hitting swords in the entire game and its legendary perk is is a great engraving for any fire build you might have. The second legendary sword is going to be the Zephos of Pelisus. I believe I said that correctly, for assassins. You can get this sword by looting a legendary chest located here on the island of Kos in the fort of Artemisia. The primary perk is assassin damage, the secondary perk is adrenaline per crit, and the legendary perk is 20% damage with the rush assassinate ability. This legendary perk is great for assassins because the rush assassinate ability is one of the best abilities for any assassin and getting that 20% damage boost on rush assassination helps tremendously with that. When paired with a high crit chance build, the secondary perk of adrenaline per crit will keep your adrenaline filled to keep doing more rush assassinations. The strategy for this would be to quickly rush assassinate four enemies and dice up the last few with this legendary sword to refill your adrenaline and then repeat that process. Not to mention that again this legendary engraving itself is perfect for any assassin build even if you don't want to use the sword. The third legendary sword is the Harpe of Perseus which is for hunters and it's a reward for defeating the mythical creature Medusa on the main story quest line. It's definitely a late game sword. The primary perk is hunter damage, the secondary perk is crit damage, and the legendary Legendary perk is a minus 25% cooldown duration for all abilities. This legendary perk is great for any build that uses a lot of abilities looking for increased cooldown. The interesting thing though is there's not really any hunter abilities that require cooldown. So it's perfect with the slow time down ability for hunters who want to pop off some arrow shots. Use the slow time ability to maneuver yourself around your enemies and kill them with this sword. Not to mention the crit damage on this sword is great for high crit chance and high crit damage hunter builds. At the very least, the legendary perk can be engraved on any build looking to reduce their cooldown on all of their abilities. So those are the three best legendary swords for each playstyle, but I want to feature two honorary ones. The first one is the Zephos of Dionysus, which is an assassin sword with assassin damage, crit damage, and a legendary engraving of 
20% damage with Hero Strike. This sword is acquired by killing a cultist in the main storyline. This sword is a great addition for assassin builds and something you can consider using alternatively as an assassin. The second is Nikolaus' sword which is acquired very early in the game and in fact the first legendary weapon you can get in the game that's not from the Helix store. This is why I'm featuring it. The primary perk is warrior damage, the secondary is damage with Athenian soldiers and the legendary perk is a 20% damage increase with the Sparta kick ability. Now in terms of late game this sword isn't very good especially with the damage on Athenian soldiers and the damage with Sparta kick but for it being acquired very early in the game this makes for a great first weapon to take you part way through the main story until you acquire a different and better legendary weapon. So those are the legendary swords. Let me know in the comments if you use a different legendary sword or what other legendary weapons you've been using I'd really love to hear from you remember if you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed Odyssey content as always I appreciate all of you and I'll see you next time so proud of those born to be Spartan.